At the heart of the New Testament, an extraordinary event unfolds upon a mountain, the Mount of Transfiguration. This divine encounter, documented in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, sheds light on profound mysteries and brings together key figures from the Old and New Testaments. Before we go ahead, please like this video, share it with those who might need it, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Also, turn on post notification that will alert you when we post new video. In today's episodes, we want to explore why Jesus had to meet Moses and Elijah at the Mount of Transfiguration. What is the purpose and does this benefit us in the Bible? The setting. The Mount of Transfiguration serves as the backdrop for this celestial encounter. It is a place of divine revelation. This divine moment unfolds before the eyes of three of Jesus' disciples, Peter, James, and John. Matthew 17 verses 1 to 3, Now after six days Jesus took Peter, James, and John his brother, led them up on a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with him. The Transfiguration of Jesus the pivotal moment occurs when Jesus' appearance is transfigured, his countenance radiating dazzling white. This radiant transformation unveils the divine glory, an essence that resides within Jesus. The presence of Moses and Elijah. 1. Moses and Elijah, two of the most prominent figures in the Old Testament, appear alongside Jesus. 2. These specific figures are chosen to symbolize the Law and the Prophets. Bible example, in Matthew 5 verse 17, Jesus declares, Do not think that I have come to abolish the Law or the Prophets. I have not come to abolish them but to fulfill them. The Significance and Purpose 1. Moses embodies the Law, represented by the Torah, while Elijah symbolizes the Prophets. 2. This encounter underscores the deep significance of the law and the prophets in Judaism and Christianity. Bible example, the law and the prophets are frequently referenced throughout the Old and New Testaments to emphasize their importance. 3. It reinforces the belief that Jesus is the fulfillment of both the law and the prophets. Please don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe right now. The Divine Voice a voice from heaven, believed to be that of the Father, resonates with the declaration, This is my beloved Son, listen to him. Bible example, this echoes God's affirmation in Psalm 2 verse 7. You are my Son, today I have become your Father. The reaction of the disciples. Witnessing this extraordinary event, Peter proposes building shelters for Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. A cloud overshadowing them symbolizes the presence of God. The disciples are filled with fear, realizing the sacredness of the moment. Bible example, Peter's response illustrates the human inclination to respond to the divine with reverence and acts of devotion. Matthew 17, 4-9 Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here, if you wish. Let us make here three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And suddenly a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. This verse was letting the disciples to focus on Jesus alone. And the Bible gave us the reason why. Hebrews 12 verse 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Lessons for Christians. 1. Listening to Jesus as the ultimate authority becomes a paramount lesson. Bible example, in John 10 verse 27, Jesus declares, my sheep listen to my voice, I know them, and they follow me. 
2. Recognizing the continuity and fulfillment of the Old Testament in the New Testament is crucial. Bible example, Jesus' teachings and actions consistently demonstrate the connection between the Old and New Covenants. 3. This event's relevance in the lives of believers is seen through a. Strengthened faith in Jesus as the Son of God b. Understanding the harmony of the Old and New Testaments c. Encouragement to obey God's Word In conclusion, the encounter at the Mount of Transfiguration profoundly signifies the unity of the Old and New Testaments in Jesus Christ. Its lasting significance extends beyond this biblical moment to shape Christian faith and theology. Closing Thoughts This celestial meeting on the Mount of Transfiguration holds a unique place in Christian theology and remains a symbol of the divine continuity that unites the Old and New Testaments. It reminds us to listen to Jesus, our ultimate authority, and to find our faith deepened in the fulfillment of God's promises through Him. Now, one of our tasks is to illuminate our audience and encourage them to seek salvation if they are not in Christ already. So, if you have not given or surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, well, here is an opportunity as we would like to lead you to salvation in the Bible way. Tomorrow might be too late. I implore you, in the name of the Lord, not to delay your salvation any longer, starting today. Say this prayer please. O oh Lord God, I thank you for today. I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God. I believe he died on the cross to save my soul. I believe God raised him from the dead, and he is alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life. From this day, I receive by faith eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord, I have eternal life now, I am born again. I am a child of God, from this day. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, I want you to know that God heard you. And he has answered you. Say Amen to this prayer. Father in the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone who prayed that prayer. Let the name of Jesus be named upon them from this moment. Satan has no claim over them anymore. They belong to Jesus Christ the Son of the living God. I bless them with your word. I bless them with your love. I bless them with your grace. I bless them with the Holy Ghost. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Please locate any God-fearing believing church around you and start a new journey in Christ. If you enjoy this video, please like, share it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and God bless you.